What is up everybody, sysadmin Sean here, and today I wanna to talk about do getting jobs in system administration. Uh, I was gonna kinda of skip this series because I felt like the job market was in such a bad place that maybe none of my my information could be helpful, but at the same time, let's take this off, uh, some people said that they wanted to see it, so let's go into it. <clears throat> so, the first thing you need to know about applying to become a system administrator is there's a lot of titles for system administrators. So if we do, system administrator we're going to get some job listings and if you notice IT administrator comes up instead of system administrator IT systems administrator network administrator IT support specialist senior IT administrator um, I'm kind of surprised I'm not seeing DevOps engineer in here cloud engineer in here this is a trick middleware administrator <laughs> be careful <clears throat> Systems engineer, there we go. System administrator for indexes, that's interesting. Let's keep going in here. Um, system administrator, senior system administrator, IT support specialist two, which can kind of be a system administrator role. Linux admin, network admin, there'll be Windows admin, office, uh, cloud, Azure admin, cloud admin, cloud architect, system architect, junior network administrator, systems and network administrator, all of these different job titles can be a system administrator job. So when I say I'm sysadmin Sean, that really means I'm sysadmin Sean, Linux admin Sean, IT admin Sean, senior IT admin Sean. All of those different things fall under this generic, it basically what's become a generic title of system administrator. So the first step before you ever start applying for jobs or anything is figuring out which job titles you feel like fit your skill set best. Um, for instance, if I was going to apply for something, I would search for system administrator because I have a pretty broad general knowledge set, but I could also do Linux administrator, if I could type, um, and see what shows up for that. Anything that would grab Linux as a, key, as a, as a skill key. Um, uh, Azure administrator. Well, let's just do Azure admin. That should probably grab everything. So if they they Azure cloud developer, eh, I might apply for that, but it doesn't feel like my skill set. But let's look at the the requirements. Um, design, develop, deploy scalable, secure cloud based solutions on Microsoft Azure platform. So probably deploying servers or containers. Uh, collaborate with cross functional teams to ensure successful implementation of cloud projects. So be a team player. Troubleshoot and resolve issues related to Azure Cloud Services. So log into the Azure portal and go, why is this broke? Um, optimize performance of Azure solutions through monitoring and tuning. This one's actually really easy now because Azure has some of this for you. So that's an easy one. Stay up to date on later Azure technologies. This one's really hard because there's news everywhere inside the portals. Uh, and then technical support. They want a bachelor's degree in computer science related field, three years experience in developing cloud solutions. Proficiency in Azure services, such as Azure App Services, check. Azure Functions, check. Azure Storage, check. Azure SQL Database, oh, not yet, um, and etc. Strong programming skills, such as C Sharp, .NET, Python, etc. I can hit Python and etc. Um, experience with DevOps practices, such as Azure DevOps, that's just like GitHub stuff. Jenkins, that's just playbook stuff. Docker, that's just container stuff. Kubernetes, that's more container stuff. So if you know if you know Docker, you're getting pretty close to knowing Kubernetes. If you know Kubernetes, you absolutely know Docker. I would I would stop learning Jenkins personally. Um, excellent communication and teamwork skills, check. Azure certifications, I ain't got any of those. I've taken an AZ 400 class, but I don't have any certifications. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a sysadmin role. It just isn't worded like a sysadmin role. So you've got to be doing your due diligence on how you want to, what kind of job role you want, what kind of skill set you have, or what kind of skill set you've worked on, and how you're going to use that to apply for this job. Okay? Uh, for instance, I started as a student worker at the IT department at the university I went to, my alma mater. So I learned desktop support personal skills, communication skills, teamwork, project work. Um, you know, we used to do a lot of stuff manually. So lots of in-person contact, not a lot of remote desktop type stuff back then. Uh, and then slowly I moved into a tier two type technician. So I didn't do the phone support as much anymore. I took on tickets when people didn't know how to answer it on the phone and they needed to pass it up or they didn't have the permissions and things like that. So it became like a tier two technician. 
and then I kind of became a specialized technician. So I worked for the university library for a little bit as sort of a server admin light would be the, probably the best way. I did help desk support and I kind of managed some applications. I didn't manage any server hardware, things like that really. And then it became a Linux admin and then that turned into sysadmin and now it's turned into senior sysadmin and HPC admin and manager of server operations. So all of that kind of built up my experience and it just stayed really broad, but I can, I can do stuff like VMware. I can do Proxmox. I can do Veeam. I can do LAMP stack. Is, do they even do LAMP stack anymore? You kind of just do Docker containers for a lot of stuff. Um, I can dabble in my SQL, but very much dabble more like get users in there and give them permissions that they probably shouldn't have. Um, so I'm a generalist. So I have to be careful when I'm applying for things. If someone says we need three years experience in my SQL database administration, Nope, not really. I can spin up a MySQL server and I can give you permissions to get into it and then I'm done. I know what ports it needs. I know how to ask for firewall rules. I know how to configure DNS if you need it for that. But after that, done deal. So think about those things when you're applying for jobs. What skills do I have right now? What skills do I want to improve? Where, where do I want to grow into? That's another thing you need to think about when you're applying for a job. What do I want to turn my position into? Do I want to start focusing more on cloud things? So maybe I should apply for something that kind of has a little bit of this Azure stuff in it, but is really more of an on-prem job right now so that I can get my feet wet. Or am I really looking to stay with an on-prem type environment? Do I want my servers in a, in a data center? Do I want to manage a data center and deal with networking and, and things like that? Um, that's all what you need to do when you start looking into just applying for jobs. That's not applying. That's not getting your resume ready. That's not interviewing. Those are all separate videos that we're going to cover. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just chop these all up and throw them out through the rest of the week. So this has been part one, looking for the job. Remember to look for the job that has skills that you have, because that's pretty important or else they're probably not going to call you for an interview and be on the lookout for different titles for the job you want. So if you know you, you want to get in the cloud, start looking into junior cloud admin or junior cloud architect. Or, you know, if you want to get into something like HPC, look for a junior HPC admin or just look for a Linux administrator role. That's a pretty important role that can kind of shift into HPC pretty easily. Or on the other side of things, another one that can go HPC is if a P Python programming job opens up. If you really like writing Python, because a lot of the stuff I have to help out with, or not help out with is Python based, they could always use a little bit more support writing better code. So you could go that route into HPC developer. Um, those kind of things exist. So be thinking about the kind of titles you wanna do. And then, uh, you know what, down in the comments below, type out what kind of titles you, you have looked for or you feel like have really stood out as a sysadmin role. And we'll talk about them uh, in the next video. So thanks and we'll see you in the next one.